Every business is different, and every manager thinks different KPIs are important, so you'll want to learn how to set up your own custom dashboards. When you log into Google Analytics, go to the Customization section here, then click Dashboards, then click Create. Let's take a look at the starter dashboard, although you can create a blank canvas too. Let's give our dashboard a name. Then click Create. What we're seeing here is a few different widgets that Google provides for the starter dashboard. New users over time, users over time, sessions by browser, and sessions by country. Each one of these widgets can be edited, so if you click the pencil icon, then you can go through and change the format. You have the title, you can also change this to a real-time widget, but within the standard widgets, you have metrics, timelines, geomaps, tables, pie charts, and bar charts. If you would like to change the metric that you're showing, you can click here. You can also add a comparison metric for this format. Right now we're using a two column format. We can actually change that though. If we click customize dashboard and click one of these other formats here, we can change the way the widgets are shown. So now we have our two columns just on the left hand side. We can actually drag them across into new columns like this. If we'd like to change back, just click Customize Dashboard. If you'd like to create a new widget, just go to Add a Widget here. Let's show a pie chart of the number of people who come through mobile versus desktop. Mobile device pie. Let's choose our metric, which we want to be sessions. Now our dimension is device. We can choose how many slices we show. We can also make it a donut chart. And let's hit save. By default, the widget scrolls to the bottom, but we can drag it anywhere we like. The final thing to show you with dashboards is segmentation. So right now we're showing these widgets for all users. If we click add segment, we can filter down to the right type of users we want to look at. In the system section, there are a few provided segments that Google gives you. Let's select users who have multiple sessions. If you hover over, you can see how this is defined. These are users that had more than one session. If I hit apply, then it's going to filter all of the widgets to use both of these segments. We can compare multi-session users versus all users. If you'd like to share your dashboard with a colleague, just go up to the top here and click Export PDF. Alternatively, you can set up an email, and that email can be set to go out daily, weekly, monthly, or quarterly. Finally, you can click Share. And if you click Share Template Link, that gives you a link you can provide for your colleague. When they click it, it's going to create a new dashboard in their version of Google Analytics. So this isn't going to share any sensitive data. If they don't have access to the same profile, it will just set this up for whatever profile they have access to. Now that you know how to customize your reports, you should have no problem setting up a dashboard unique to your business.